Hi guys and Happy New Year! Um, so I actually took a week off vlogging. I did film the first clip but that was a week, it was just a bit of a mixed week. Um, I'm not going to go into why or any of that because it's back to positivity and back to trying to uh, keep going. But yeah, um, but I'm going to start vlogging. It's my first weekly vlog of 2017, and yeah, um, I'm hoping that it'll be a good year. I'm not sure how much I'll film this week. I don't really know what's going on. When Ebony's in bed, I've got her here with me now. I'll explain some of the stuff that had been going on this week, which I'm okay with explaining. But yeah, um, so I will probably vlog when she, once she's in bed and wants to watch EastEnders so yeah it's been a bit of a rough week and I'll explain it to you in probably a couple of seconds for you but a couple of hours for me so as I said I am going to explain well not completely why I haven't been filming but one of the main reasons um, <clears throat> that's happened in the past week um, and also with it being the last year of 2016, the last year, no, the last week, I wanted to kind of uh, have a break I guess and just give myself a chance to recuperate and just have a bit of time off and enjoy what I could. <laughs> thought I'd be enjoying a lot more than I actually did but I'm explain, about to explain that now I can't speak tonight I'm tired I'm very drained with everything that's been going on and I've just not picked back up yet so I'm not sure what day in the week it was I've, I've just had a bit of a bad week anyway like I've felt a bit bleh and I as, as a lot of you will know I'm all about positivity and trying to keep a positive mind and everything but I just could not do it last week at all it didn't work I just felt low and horrid and exhausted um as a lot of you will know if you've been watching the vlogs the past few months I have had Ebony in to the doctors in the hospital um three times um from October to December with pneumonia um, or the beginnings of pneumonia but not enough of them to actually diagnose it but we knew what it was um, and I wasn't happy with it and she started to get ill again but she's been a bit wheezy since having it and I wondered if it could be asthma or something like that because I had asthma as a child and it was likely that she could have it so I thought I'll get her to the doctors I'll get them to check it and then I know it's going on I'd rather know what was going on than leaving it and regretting it and oh am I glad that I went to, get to find out basically what's been happening is um, the doctor listened her over to her chest um, and he read up on a history before we went in and this doctor that we saw was brilliant um, and he could hear a slight difference on um, each side of the chest with her um i think it was a breathing rate or i'm not exactly sure how, what it was what difference he could hear but he heard a slight difference in one of the lungs and the other um and he did a percussion test on her sorry you can't see him properly i'm trying to tidy you up because she's made a mess in my room today and then he did a percussion test on her and um basically it looks like that when she's had pneumonia um it has obviously messed, started to mess with the lungs and looks like from the first time because that was the actual proper, that was the full on experience they sent us home way too soon, I think they should have kept her indefinitely but um, yeah so it looks like from the first time um, she's either, one of her lungs may not be inflating um, as well as it should be um, not dramatic, a dramatic difference, but it is a slight difference, and at that age, is a worry. Or she could have fluid 
um, round her lung, which again is not brilliant, especially at that age. So we've had appointments with her. Um, we took her the day after to get an x-ray on her chest, which was Thursday, I think, that we went in Wednesday to the doctors. Um, <clears throat> and then tomorrow, Tuesday, we have an appointment to um, go and see the consultant. They're going to see what um, could be wrong, have a look at x-ray and examine her and just see what could happen but if it is that she may have to have um, it corrected um, which I think the procedure is a very fine needle um, to correct it all and should only be in for the day hopefully um, but if it's not then we're gonna have to do more investigations and I don't know, I, I, I hope that it is as quick and easy as that because then I know it's over, it's done with and we can start getting on with uh, 2017 without any big thing but um, I'm not sure so that's why I haven't vlogged at all um, and hopefully I'll actually get back to it because I need to quite badly um, but I'll keep you updated on it and it's just the life of a parent, I guess. But I have been up and down with her a lot when she's been poorly. She's been ill with all this as well. Um, but I hope that that's alright that I haven't vlogged. But I will be back to the vlogs. And I will be taking you through everything that we go through. Um, with this whole thing. Um, but I'll speak to you guys soon. And hopefully film some happier stuff this week instead of just doctor's appointments but I will tell so I want to do well I want to say do a little update on the last few days for you guys um I am probably going to put you guys on my laptop like I do for most of these chatty bits if I'm planning on doing chatty bits anyway sometimes it turns a bit too chatty but I'll sit on the floor, have my laptop in the way. I need to tidy my room. <laughs> Note to self, tidy my room. Fuck's sake. Um, yes, so put you guys about there. And that should be okay. So, there's a few things to talk about. And because I didn't do vlogging last week because it was a bit of a rubbish week I guess now I'll look um, things are looking up but at the time it was a very rubbish week I didn't want to film I just wanted a week off and to build myself back up again because sometimes I do have those days or weeks where it gets a little bit tough and I need to build myself back up actually I double check the time recording good yes I am that's fine that's fine um I think I'd have gone insane then if I hadn't have been um but yes so we had a police appointment on Tuesday it's now Thursday no 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 it's not it's Wednesday um we had our appointment yesterday on Tuesday um basically it's as I originally thought she does have asthma um so we have an inhaler for that and not to do with it because I had asthma as a child so I'm aware of the ins and outs completely of asthma and I do still have asthma. I do have an appointment on Friday to get another inhaler um, but either way um, I know what I'm doing with that now so that's brilliant. The one thing I'm really uh, not angry about but a bit irritated about is that the doctor had told me that it could be um, a partial collapsed lung or liquid surrounding the lung and realistically he shouldn't have told me um, especially with the fact that it, could, it, is, it is actually asthma and the doctors looked at the x-ray and he knows he knew straight away um, but either way at least it's resolved and so, for ages, I, like, literally, probably since I started this YouTube channel, I've wanted to, 
I don't know how to put it. I wanted to do videos to my older self. Um, and yeah, I think I might start doing that. I'll probably do a proper sit down video. Use my um, bigger camera, everything, and then film that way and um, just go that kind of route don't know if that's the correct thing to say but either way um and I might sit at some point and react to some of my old videos I don't know if I'd do that on a vlog I might do that on a vlog but it will be vlog style so I'd say have my camera pointing at me oh there's a cat downstairs on my laptop um sat on my laptop and me looking at my laptop because I do not have the footage and I I'd probably link the videos below, um, but yeah, I think I might do that because, <laughs> to be honest, I would, I am kind of half dreading it. I'm not sure how many videos I've actually done now throughout the years of being on YouTube, um, but I know I have done quite a few and they have definitely, I, I'd like to think they have improved <laughs> throughout the many years of YouTube. Um, oh god, I don't know how many videos it is. I don't know how to find out how many it is. Um, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> this is not good. Not good at all. Um, tells me how many views. That's not helpful. But either way, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of doing that. I would like to know and just j just kind of have something to look back on as I get older because it's definitely interesting I'd say to know what everything was like and just to see what I thought what I was like and just recollect everything as a, a, as a whole, um, but yeah, I think I might do a video of that, god, I'm not sure when, um, hope in the next few weeks, and yes, I will do that, then I think I'll do it to my 21 year old self, um, I have 126 videos, so that's quite a few. Um, yeah, so that's not so bad. That isn't so bad. I'm not sure. Sorry, I've got really into looking at the statistics there. Sorry, I completely like went out then. But yes, <clears throat> so I um will be trying to I don't know, I'll be trying to show more um, in vlogs but I might be more restricted in some areas basically I will have a lot going on this year um, and I'm going to be taking a few big steps I'd like to say um, I'm not going to say anything um, until everything's kind of in place and know what's happening and, and all of that and I've got so I um terrified. <laughs> I'm slightly terrified for it because it's something big for me. Um it is a really big thing for me to conquer. But I'm gonna do it. I'm still gonna go ahead. Um you won't understand probably what any of it is because I have not told many people, I've told a couple of my close friends about it. 
so oh, there's gonna be a few things happening this year um, I'm not sure how much but there will be a few things and I'm hoping it's going to be a good year and I'm going to work on it trying to be a good year um, it's just knowing where to start sometimes and I think that is the point that I am currently at um, I'm not sure what I will be filming this week I've not really got much planned in at the minute um, and I have so many jobs to catch up on I have to um, put away three loads of washing and then put on a load of washing as well tomorrow and then put that away as well and do all the ironing because I just didn't get around to it today, I went around to Dee's. I keep saying I'll go and film with Dee and we need to sort it out. We really need to sort it out because we both want to do this. Um, and yeah, I think it would just be really fun to do um, a video with her. But either way, yeah, I'm going to sort out my life in general. And then I think um, I'll get more on track with YouTube and know what I'm doing and where I'm going. I mean, I don't expect for my subscriber count to go up, but I do enjoy making videos, so I will carry on doing that as I enjoy it. But otherwise, um, there's a few private things in my life that will be going on this year that I will not talk about. Um, I think at one point, maybe in the future, quite a far on future, I may talk about it because then it'll be, I'm hoping it will be a very different situation for me. Um, but at the moment, I'm definitely not going to talk about it because it's not just involving me. It's And it's just not a fair thing to talk about. But yeah, um, I will try and film bits with Ebby this week because there's a few bits that I miss filming with her because it's just gone downhill. I'm not showing her as much. I don't think there's any particular reason I'm aware of but I think with things that have been going on recently with her I may have without realising it have been removing her from the vlogs for a bit um, but I think I'm going to start introducing her with it all again. And we are getting getting a strict routine back because it's been very lax the last few months since Spain. <laughs> um, and we've put some rules in place so I will, I will keep you updated on all that. This has been a really long talk but I kind of expected it. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a... Uh, one, like one of the bigger years so far um, but I feel like I'm ready for it this time I'm anxious but I feel like I'm ready I'm ready for all these changes and I hope that it stays that way because if it doesn't I think I, it really will bum me out but time shall tell and I'm going to go now and sit and watch some YouTube videos have my brew and go downstairs, the washing up, sort out and go and zonk in bed because I am really tired. Um, and I think I need to be making sure jobs are done and keep on top of everything so I can get to bed earlier because it's getting a bit ridiculous. But I will probably speak to you guys tomorrow. Um, I don't think we have anything planned for tomorrow but I am probably going to go and get my nails taken off because they're a point where they're irritating me a bit now and um, grab a few things from town that I need to grab so I will try and film some things tomorrow so it's Thursday I have just put Abby to bed um, I wanted to show you a couple bits that I've gotten for her recently um, clothes wise they did go to Primark today and got myself some basic cheap tops this is the best place, place to uh, get tops at a reasonable price um, that um, are just simple to be honest. Yes, yeah, that's all I needed to say. So I will lay this stuff out to show you. The first thing is 
of this little flower, glittery flowery, glittery um, the pear. Let's start that again. The a glitter and flower skull, um, and I thought it was really cute. And it's short sleeve for the summer. Um, and she can layer it up as well if it gets a bit chilly. That is size two to three from River Island. And then this next one I think is my favourite top out of the two. It again is from River Island Mini Girls in two to three. And this is a little heart top that says Heartbreaker. It's got little gold, rose gold gems on it. And then on the back it says New York City. And I thought it was really cute. I absolutely love that. Then I got her some little leggings. Well, they're kind of jeans leggings. They've got little gold zips on them. They're pleated. I don't know if you can see that. You can't see it very clearly. They are pleated. I just can't show you clearly at all. It's really annoying. Um, basically, they have a line down the centre. Um, like from the top of the zip at the pocket, um, but you can't see that. But they are nice little cute smart jeans. And then we got this, because um, she gets really cold sometimes at night, her room gets cold. So from Asda we got her this little unicorn onesie in two to three, it looks huge. But I guess that's good. But I thought it was really cute. It's mint green unicorn with pink and white and she absolutely loves it um, and she was really glad that we got her that. Um, she's in bed early today. We went to town and that for a bit, um, did a few jobs we needed to do, got bits we needed to get and she fell asleep in the car on the way back. But then she woke up coughing um, and she ended up um, being sick and it was purely mucus mainly. Um, so that wasn't brilliant and then she didn't go back to sleep from there. And um, she wouldn't eat your tea tonight. Now it's half seven and she's in bed and I'm going to do some ironing and then I will be watching EastEnders. I think I need to take a paracetamol quite badly, tidying up after tea and going to bed because I'm just done, <laughs> I'm drained, I'm really drained. Um, and I think that's it, tomorrow I've got an asthma appointment, so I think is having ebony while I'm at that um, and yeah otherwise I don't think there's much going on at the minute. Um, this weekend, um, on Saturday, I'm not sure what's happening, I think it's a bit of a chill day, and on Sunday, Ebony, I think, is at her nanny's, so I'll have a bit of a day off, which will be nice, definitely nice. Um, catch up on things, tidy around my room while she's not there to try and help. <laughs> help and make it a bit more difficult but yeah um I'm, i think the one thing i am looking forward to tomorrow is that ed sheeran is releasing new music and that makes me very happy because i absolutely love ed sheeran and he if you didn't know he took a year off so all, for all of 2016 he didn't do gigs or um he, and he wasn't on social media at all and he announced, I think it was on the 1st, that he's going to be doing, um, he's going to release some music on Friday, which is exciting. And um, he did do one gig actually, that um, I know because Jim Chapman vlogged about it, but it was a charity gig, and that's the only reason that he did that. But yeah, um, otherwise there's not much this week, which is a shame. Um, but I did do that big ramble I guess, so it's not so bad. I think next week might be a bit more interesting, I'm hoping. Um, otherwise, I think it's just a bit of a slow start to the year, but that's never a bad thing. I'm going to go sort out and then try and get to bed before I fall asleep on the floor. 
so I've not been able to vlog much this week. I'm I was planning on vlogging tonight because I was going to be going around to these, getting ready and going out for a few drinks and meeting up with someone but plans got put on hold. The, the last week my dad has had a really bad chest pain Um, he's just kind of ignored it and not not ignored it but he's just carried on um, and today he was keeled over even sometimes crying with the pain and I say now my dad doesn't cry in pain. Um, he went to the doctors um, they gave him some stuff thinking it was acid reflux but really extreme um, so he went to work um, I'm not sure what happened then I, I, I spent the day with Dee and the kids and I went to hers and spent the uh, early evening around there and then I got a call from my mum and she said that They'd been on the phone to the doctors um, and they were taking my dad into hospital. They, oh, I don't even know, the, the, what, I know that they wanted to send out an ambulance because uh, they thought, they were saying it's had, it had something to do with his heart. Um, he managed to convince them to not and to let my mum drive him. So she drove him in, um, with me and Ebony came home. And basically, um, my dad stayed in another night and we found out he's had a heart attack. <sighs> so, and he's not an unfit man. He's not overweight. He's not unhealthy at all. Um, it's stress. It's stress induced. Um, but yeah. So, I'm afraid. I, don't, I can't promise how much I'll film um, this week. For the rest of this week, it is Friday, I'm in it. I had to do the uh, fires. Uh, you'll probably know from watching the vlogs. We have a coal fire, and I'm having to do that at the minute. But yeah, I just am not sure what's. Um, I'm just not sure what's going on at the minute. But apart from that, it has been a really good day. Um, it's been a really lovely day, and yeah, it's just been a good day definitely it's just that 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 has uh, kind of not ruined it but it's um, been the not as good side to the day <sighs> so I can't promise our film Ebony I think is out on Sunday and I'm just going to have to see what I can film for you guys and I'm sorry in advance if there isn't much footage but I'm going to go and I'll speak to you all hopefully soon. And I'll update you on what's happening. Definitely. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on So I'm afraid I may look a little bit of a state right now. Um, 
just had a bath and done a face mask to try and help my skin a little bit because it needs a little bit of extra help at the minute. Um, it is Tuesday afternoon the next week. I'm sorry I've not really filmed with everything going on. Um, my dad did have to have surgery. He came home last night. He had to come home early for an appointment um, to help my mum go um, go with my mum. Basically, I'm having to do a lot of stuff for him. He can't do lifting. He can't go outside. Um, and I've just not been able to edit or update you yet. So, yeah. Um, so I end this vlog and then I'm going to start the next one. Um, sorry it's a bit late, but I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a bit of a downer. It's not really been a brilliant vlog at all. It's been a bit of a eh, but um, I'll see you guys next week for hopefully a bit of a more positive week, which is this week. Either way, yeah. Bye guys.